Hey guys, what's going on? <clears throat> Welcome to this video. It'll be a, a short video. Um, I can't make this long per se, but um, my thoughts on Ravi Zacharias. Well, God introduced me to him on YouTube. Um, I, I just I discovered him. I think. A year or two ago. And the way he would articulate his sentences, the way he would articulate his words, and how he would answer such serious questions, very philosophically, very theologically, very uh, emotionally, but also culturally. For instance, um, Arabs. In their culture, poetry is actually quite popular, ancient poetry mainly, um, but some popular, well, Ravi would quote these popular poetry, um, poems that would fit into his point in the question, and he would answer it in such a way where they would understand it. He would always graciously Thank the person for the question, whether if it was a stupid question or whether it was a good question or a hard, or, you know, whatever. Ravi inspired me to pursue Christian apologetics, history, philosophy, the, uh, theology. And if this COVID stuff actually ends, like, if I'm, if we're wrong about it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to college and I, I want to honor my Lord, um, but I also want to honor Ravi, the man that Jesus placed in my life via YouTube to inspire me. And I, and I have I have this this fire within me that just wants to talk about God's word. So I'm going to get into ministry once this thing ends because right now it's not really a good time for me. Still, a lot of things are still shut down. Um, but if we're wrong about it, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, to pursue ministry, uh, and and eventually, once I have degrees in these uh, subjects, uh, I want to, uh, with the Ravi Zacharias International Ministries, but I also want to, um, I have my own ministry that God gave me, so I also want to use the ministry that, my, that the Father gave to me, and use that to save people, to lead people to Christ, to hold events within the name of the ministry. Perfect Lamb Ministry. Why Perfect Lamb? Well, Lamb, because the scripture says that Jesus was and is uh, heaven's perfect Lamb. Perfect, honoring the Lamb, which is Jesus, saying Jesus is perfect ministries, perfect Lamb Ministries. Um, so that is my plan, to eventually go on an international scale, actually start a team, how Ravi did. Because Ravi inspired me. And, and if it wasn't for the, for the Lord showing me this 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 Indian dude, I'm not being sarcastic, okay? If Jesus never showed me this man, I don't know where or... Rather, I don't know where my uh, plans for the future would be. So that is my plan. And it will take a lot of schooling, a lot of debt, a lot of scholarships. Um, but I don't need to worry about ACT scores no more because I, I did kind of poorly on, on my ACT test, unfortunately. But, but yeah, my thoughts on Ravi... A great man, um, a, a really hot filled man with the Holy Spirit. I know that the scripture says that the hot is evil, like the mind. But when I say hot filled, I mean as if the Holy Spirit entered him, which it did. It clearly did, because if you look how passionately he talks, the way he would articulate his sentences, the way he would lead people to the kingdom of Jesus Christ, our Lord was in such a way that was amazing. The, the way that he would talk, that's, 
I'm, I'm looking at that, and I want to take inspiration off of that, but not just copy him, but also develop my own style. So if, if, if I haven't already said my opinion about Ravi and how much he has inspired me because our Lord introduced me to him via YouTube, exponentially. This man was a great man for the Lord. He... It, you know, if he walked the walk and talked the talk, he's in heaven. And, and the reason why I'm not saying, well, he's in heaven or he's in hell, because you really don't know how they are in the personal life. That's, I, I believe he's in heaven. So, if he's in heaven, which I'm pretty positive he is, then we, sh then we will see him again along with his friend Abdul and our Lord Jesus Christ the Son. Ravi was a great man of God. As uh, what Ravi said on an interview, I don't remember who he quoted, but he said, God uh, kills the, the uh, no, God takes away his messenger, however, the message still lives on, and that is what we need to hold on to, and, and such. And he's right. God takes away the messenger, because it is his or her time, but the message that is left behind, um, will still leave an impact and will still lead people to his kingdom in his glory. That is what we need to hold on to and go out and do. Lead people to the kingdom of Jesus Christ. That is my opinion about Ravi. That's how much he has inspired me. So if we're wrong about this COVID stuff, which I hope we are, um, well, you... Will eventually, hopefully, see me on stages talking, as how Ravi did and how many of these people do, because that is what I want to do. And if the Lord wills it, it shall be done. I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Worship Jesus Christ, as He is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Shabbat shalom.